like to see how I went from this to this, <laughs> then keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I know you're not used to seeing me like this. I'm not used to seeing myself like this either, but I like it. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Tina. I'm a corporate lawyer in the Philippines. So yeah guys, if you noticed, since the start of my channel, I've been alternating between serious lawyer videos talking about the legal profession, law school, etc. and creative videos, which are, I would say that they're my distressors. When I'm making them, I, I don't feel like a lawyer. I feel like a creative person. And being creative is definitely something that I've lost touch with throughout the years. Because law practice, doesn't allow much room for being creative. But yeah, enough of the blabber. This video is obviously one of those creative videos. Like, can you see the tattoos? <laughs> I got into full character, you guys. If we are gonna do something, we might as well go all the way, right? <laughs> so yeah, guys, in this video, I am gonna be transforming myself from your stereotypical, boring, haggard lawyer in office clothes into this super spunky Asian baby girl type person. <laughs> I have seen a couple of these videos online and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed watching people transform themselves into these super cute, super made up Asian baby girls. So anyway, from the videos of Asian baby girl transformations that I've seen on YouTube, Asian baby girls are Asian girls <laughs> who like to party, they wear a lot of makeup, they have tattoos, they're usually seen around fast cars, they drink boba or milk tea a lot, go to raves, the whole like party lifestyle and they usually have like a collective look to be specific this collective look <laughs> now obviously i'm not into propagating stereotypes you guys and that's definitely not what i'm doing in this video let's just take this video for what it is it's just a light-hearted fun cute creative type of video where we do this asian baby girl makeup look and i just have to say asian baby girls you guys have got it right. I mean, your makeup and your forma, your style, you guys look hella cute. <laughs> like if I could go to client meetings like this, I totally would. And then I'd be out of a job the next day, but that's the price you have to pay for coming into a meeting looking like an Asian baby girl. <laughs> so yeah guys, we are going to start the transformation with how I would look like on a normal day at work. And from there, we are going to transition into this super cute character with really nice makeup and really nice tattoos. <laughs> so yeah guys, if you would like to see how I went from this to this, <laughs> then keep on watching. Okay, so this is what we are working with pre-transformation. I'm looking like your standard, stereotypical, boring lawyer, right? How could I forget these? Ta-da! Now I look like your stereotypical lawyer. So this is the blank canvas pre-transformation. Right now, I have all the earmarks of a haggard lawyer. I have the glasses, I have the blazer, the watch, the pearl earrings, or maybe that's just an earmark of a tita the classic workplace appropriate manicure, the tortoise shell glasses, of course. And yeah, I just felt like looking like someone completely different today. <laughs> parang I just want to change for today. Trip ko lang. I want to change up this situation. <laughs> also, I miss being creative on my channel. So this is what I typically look like going into work these days. Since we've been going into work with masks anyway, I rarely ever bother with putting stuff on my skin these days. I just have my skincare on. I don't have any foundation, any tinted moisturizer or anything. It's really just skincare. Of course, whenever I go out, kahit grocery lang yan, I have my brows on to frame my eyes. Ding, ding, ding. And of course, my lashes. <laughs> because ain't nobody got time for 10 layers of mascara, girl. And that's it. Eyebrows, eyelashes, skincare, done. So, yeah, let the metamorphosis begin. To prep my eyelids for eyeshadow application, I'm using the Rimmel Scandalized Eye Pencil in the shade Dress Passing Taupe. Shadow, I'm using the Smashbox Cover Shot Ablaze Eye Palette and I'm using this golden shade called Moccasin.
Next, I'm using this Burnt Sienna shade. Next, for the eyes, I'm dipping into this Laura Mercier Smoky Violets Color To Go Portable Palette. And I'm just going to use this Smoky Lilac color. Now using this dark brown shade from that same Smashbox palette. Next, I'm using the Blythe Eyeliner Duo Stamp in the shade Black Magic from Caroline. Now, this is going to help me achieve that really sharp, really fierce cat eye, which is the trademark of every Asian baby girl. Now, I'm going to use the felt tip eyeliner side of that same eyeliner pencil just to clean up that eyeliner stamp. the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in the shade NC30 just to sharpen and to clean up the area under my brows. For face base, we are going to be using the Laura Mercier Oil Free Foundation Primer Girl, we are going to be putting on a lot of foundation, and we need that to stick. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing this Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil-Free Foundation and the Shiseido Perfect Refining Foundation. Now, these are both great foundations. Each can definitely stand on its own, but the only reason why I'm mixing them both is so that I can get that perfect shade match. Because right now, I'm kind of in between two shades and it's just really hard to get that exact foundation match that I need. So just mixy mixy. And we're done! Okay, I've been looking crazy. <laughs> Time to blend this all out. Looks a little light. But we can always adjust it later. I have not worn this much foundation since my wedding maybe <laughs> Whew. oh my gosh like it is legit covering my moles and my moles are pretty dark can you see them oh my god <laughs> I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear concealer for my under eyes okay I feel like ABGs would wear a lot of foundation anyway so let's just consider that little fiasco as part of getting into character <laughs> Shall we? And besides, I can fix it later with bronzer and contour. I hope. <laughs> I look like a monai. To set our very white face, we're gonna be using some Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. Oh my god, even the translucent powder is darker than my skin right now. <laughs> powder, powder, powder. Careful not to activate those allergies. <laughs> Now comes the part that we desperately need. We need to bring more shadows back into this face. This is the Squad Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette in Spill the Tea. Just gonna use this shade to contour. Squad 
Cosmetics Contour Powder just wasn't enough for me. So I'm gonna be using the Palladio Herbal Bronzer to add a little bit more orangeness to my face. an ABG with makeup you can really look like you went tanning but I'm 15 minutes na ata ako blend on second thought I'm gonna add a little bit of benefits hula bronzer okay now I'm done <laughs> Ayoko na. now I'm taking that same eyeliner that I used a while ago this is the Rimmel scandalize just gonna run it under my lash line Then I am just gonna dip into that same Smashbox eyeshadow that I used a while ago. I'm gonna go for this one right here. Smoky! Wow, I don't mind this look. I mean, I could get used to this if I had three hours every day to get ready. Ooh, and then I'm gonna take this. Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Eyeliner. This is in the shade Raven, and I am just gonna stick this in my lower waterline. Wish me luck. Please don't poke yourself in the eye. I do not like eyeliner on my lower lash line because I already have small eyes to begin with. I don't need to make them look more like constricted by putting on eyeliner, but I feel like an Asian baby girl would wear a lot of eyeliner. <laughs> now, one thing that I personally myself do not like, but I feel like an Asian baby girl would love a lot of is highlighter. I'm using the Caroline Diamond Dream Highlighter in the shade Eye Candy. This is great. Look at that. Dang! Do not forget those inner corners. My lips, I'm just using the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade 1993. Really nice 90s color. So, yeah, it looks like this. For my lips, we are using the Dose of Colors Matte Lipstick in the shade Truffle. Really nice color. the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. Really pretty peach. The high points of my cheeks. Yep, man. Putting on this much makeup is making me thirsty. <laughs> okay guys, so we are done with the face. And I have to say, sobrang on fleek yung itsura niya. Everything looks lined and powdered and chiseled into place. As a final step, we are gonna set everything with setting spray. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray in the matte variant. Oh! Okay, so ABG makeup is all set and good to go. And for full transformative effect, <laughs> I'm gonna be back with a full outfit. I'm your lawyer turned Asian baby girl.
guys, this is the final look, complete with the hoop earrings, the tattoos, the curled hair. But actually, guys, I don't know how to use a flat iron, so I just used hair rollers. <laughs> so guys, what do you think? Could I pass for a legit Asian baby girl? You know what? I actually think that I could. <laughs> if I went out in the States like this, I think I could actually pass for an ABG, don't you think? <laughs> Mag undercover ako dun. I really had so much fun creating this look. It really forced me to dig into my creative reserves. Because <laughs> I'm sure you guys know that as a lawyer, you don't really have the chance or the time for that matter to be creative and artistic and to express yourself through fashion, tattoos, makeup, the whole shebang. I really, really enjoyed doing this so, so much. I know that there are so many videos of ABG transformations floating around online, but I'm just really happy that I got the chance to give you guys my own spin on it. Especially since the transformation from like a boring, haggard old lawyer <laughs> to an Asian baby girl was quite drastic. Will I be wearing this look to work soon? Probably not. <laughs> but I'm just glad to know that if I ever need to do one of these looks again, that I can do it. I love this look, you guys. Do you guys like it? It's so cute. It's so feminine, but so spunky at the same time. It's so feminine with like, you know, the voluminous lashes, the really sharp, precise cat eye, the matte lip, the curled hair. But at the same time, it's so spunky and so like tough chick with the tattoos, the black. It is such a good marriage of feminine and spunky, and I love that. The emphasis of ABG makeup is really the eyes. You guys can see that the perfect, very precisely shaped cat eye, sobrang viciously sharp cat eye, played a huge part in this look. In fact, I'd say that it's the centerpiece of this look. So I'm glad that I focused most of my attention there. I wonder if I can go to work like this. <laughs> Maybe if I put my hand on my neck the whole time, like, Good morning. Would you guys like to go through the addendum line by line? Yes? Okay, let's begin. Okay guys, so that is really it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this haggard, boring, tired old lawyer to Asian baby girl transformation just as much as I enjoyed creating it. I felt like such an artist blending my eyeshadow and putting on my fake tattoos. <laughs> Ang saya, grabe. All products that I used will be listed in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this type of video from me, then please give it a thumbs up. Please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell below if you guys would like to be notified of my future videos. So yeah, that's really it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Asian Baby Girl signing out. See you in my next video. Bye!